All right, what's up, guys? So I'm here looking at my phone. I just picked up a 1935 Philly uh, Peace Dollar, and I was looking at the mintages for both the 35S and the 35 uh, No Mint Mark. Now, being that I bought the 1935 No Mint Mark, this one has a mintage of 1,576,000. Now, that might sound like a lot, and typically the Philadelphia and the Denver Mint, they both pump out huge mintage numbers. Now, the weird part about this is that the San Francisco one is notorious for having the lowest mintage of all the um, mints, so to say. Uh, but that's not the case with this one. You look at the 1935S, and it's got a mintage of 1,964,000 of these coins minted. Now, that's uh, 400,000 more than the Philadelphia Mint, given... While it has more of these coins minted, you would think it's less valuable, right? There's more of them out there. So, you know, in theory, less is more valuable. More common is less valuable. That's not the case on this one. So we click on the value guide. And right off the bat, an MS64, it's $1,000 for the 1935S San Francisco Mint Mark. Uh, there's only 1,693 of these coins out there graded at an MS64. That means there's 1,000 of those or 1,693 of those at $1,000. Um, given, that sounds like a lot, but when you look at the Philadelphia Mint, the MS67 is also the highest grade for this one, just like the San Francisco. You go to the PCS, PCGS value, and in the 64, there's twice as much. So there's 3,160 of these. And because of that, the population is saturated with the amount of, you know, 64s that the price dropped. So it's very interesting to see that, that even though a coin can have a lower mintage than the other one, the prices are not really reflecting on how scarce the coin is. It's how many of these has been graded and how flooded the market is which is really, really cool in my opinion. Um, I'm really excited to get that 1935 in just to be able to see the overall grade to it. It looks great in the pictures, but nothing is really set in stone until you get it in hand. You're able to look at the luster, the really quality that it has, You know, if there's any rubbing to it. Um, but overall, super excited for this, guys. Um, I'll make a video of that when it does come in, but just wanted to show you guys that not all the time does a lower mintage you know, translate to a higher value. Um, even though for the most part it does. But if you guys knew about this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting. And thank you so, so much for uh, getting this channel to 500 subscribers, guys. Again, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it's the first time ever doing that, so kind of cool. Um, but do look forward to more videos, more content. And I'll bring you back, uh, guys back in when that happens. All right, take care.